First of all, I'd like to thank you for um, seeing me today for this interview. No, thank you very much for uh, inviting me. Uh, it's fantastic. One question I've got is, what was your first paranormal experience? Well, do you know, out of all the questions I've been asked, I don't think I've ever been asked that. Really? Yeah, normally people say, what's your, most, what's your yeah. scariest place? Um, the thing that started me off being really interested in it was uh, when I was extremely young, uh, I was about nine or ten, um, and it was in my mum and dad's house. They, um, uh, the house was a new house when they bought it. They bought it in sort of the 60s, early 60s. Um, and it was just marshland before then, so there's nothing on the side, so we don't know quite what would have been there. Yeah. But one night, um, I went to go to the loo, and um, as you do when you're a kid, you have the doors open. And I turned, and I saw in my doorway what looked like uh, a guy in a 1930s outfit, which is strange, being here, a hat on and a short suit. And, yeah. um, sort of in my doorway, I, I looked, and I, and I remember staring at it, and he was definitely there. And I closed the door and opened it again, and he'd gone. So I, I kind of didn't think too much more about it till the morning, when my brother, who was three years old at the he came out of his room at the same night and said that he got scared because opposite his room, in the hallway, um, he said he saw a man which he described as dressed in a Humphrey Bogart outfit. Really? So, yeah. With his arms crossed leaning up against the wall, so it's a different position yeah. and a different place. But we, we saw that on the same night, and, and it was the same thing, but we've never seen anything since or before at, at my mum and dad's house. And that just made me think that at a young age, there must be something out there to have caused that. Do you think, I mean, going to that, do you think sometimes it probably, do you hear a lot about young people seeing things more, you know, children and, and sort of that, younger people? Yeah, I think, I think young people see things more because they're not tarnished like we all are. I mean, you know, it's, it's, uh, as a kid, you believe in everything. Yeah. So your mind's completely open to any possibility. Of course, when we've got, um, as we grow up, I mean, it kind of, with our sort of generation, it was other people that took it out of us. Now, sadly, you've got social media that, that can kill things for, for people very young. And, uh, <clears throat> and our worlds were smaller than they are now. Um, but I think the kids, yeah, they, I think they see more because they believe more and they're more open-minded. With um, antics, productions, mm -hmm. that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, to yeah, um, I know that you've stayed with the American Indian tribe or something like that. Do you want to tell, tell the viewers a little bit more about that? Yeah, you know, uh, I was very happy to stay with... Uh, um, I spent quite a lot of time in America when I was younger. Um, I, when I was 18, I decided that uh, I wanted to broaden my horizons. Um, so I told my mum and dad that I was going to America for holiday and I had a hotel room and, and I didn't. I just had a flight. So I flew out there um, and I flew into Raleigh. Uh, uh, in North Carolina and I arrived about midnight and there was this 18 year old lad in America with a suitcase and <laughs> nowhere to stay. So as so you do. <laughs> yeah, so, so I just went in uh, and I went to the Greyhound bus, um, uh, bus station and I, had, uh, and I thought how far, I needed to get some sleep so I thought sure, um, the best thing to do is get a long bus ride somewhere oh, yeah. and I could sleep on the bus. Yeah. Um, so I thought what's going to take about eight hours? And, uh, and I took, I went from, uh, uh, from, from there, I got, I got onto a bus, and strangest things would happen, uh, as I was on the bus I fell asleep for a little bit, and we kind of got to the edge, you know, to, 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 to the east coast. And I went to the bus driver, and I, there was only two of us in there, me and this older lady, and I said to the bus driver, look, is there an all-night cafe I could go to? It's about sort of 7 30, come to 8 o'clock. And I said to him, I said, so I could just get myself sorted before I try and find something to say. And he said, yeah, yeah. And, so, and then, the one thing about the Americans is they're, they're really yeah. nice. You know, and this yeah. guy was just, yeah, yeah, I'll drop you off on them. Just very friendly, friendly on them. Yes, yeah, really want to help. And as I sat back down, this lady said to me, she said, she said, well, she says, I run a guest house. Do you want to come stay at my place? I went, fine, yeah, I'd love to. And she was probably in the 60s, I guess. And, um, Anyway, I got, I got, I'm chatting away, and I, I love old films. I, I, I love the, 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 the silver screen yeah. and, uh, era. And she, we were talking away, and at the time, there was this particularly bad program over here called The Master, which had Lee Van Cleef in it. And, um, and as you know, someone who's very keen on martial arts, I used to watch it, even though it was pretty appalling, but um, I like Lee Van Cleef. 
And I wasn't going to say it was bad, so I remember just talking about martial arts, and she said, oh, my, my ex-husband does martial arts. And I said, oh, I said, I do martial arts. I said, um, at a moment, I said, we've got a thing called The Master going on in, 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 in the UK, I said, which is uh, brilliant. I said, I love it, it's got Lee Van Cleef in it. She said, oh, I said, that's a coincidence. I said, why? She said, well, that's my ex-husband. And I'm thinking, that's too much of a coincidence. That, yeah, that's, that's kind of, yeah, well, <laughs> So she's, she's going to stab me in a second. Yeah. And, um, and then she said, uh, she said, you don't believe me, do you? I said, uh, no, I, I don't know you anymore. I'm not going to call you a liar. And then she shows me her, this, her, her address label, and that was Pat Anthony Van Cleef. And she tells me this story that she was married to him before he was famous, and then when he started to become famous, she went on the sets with him. And then she starts bringing all these photographs with her. With her, him, and Clark Gable, her, him, and Gary Cooper. I'm sitting <laughs> This is one in a billion. And, yeah. and we had this great conversation with her. And she said, Well, he said, Your fan said, Here's his phone number, here's his address. I said, I'm not going to phone up out of the blue. Um, uh, Lee Van Cleef. And, uh, and I never did. The only thing I actually did was when he, said when he died, I did phone his house up there and, and offer my condolences. <laughs> I had this guy, you know, he went, Oh, I said, oh, I said uh, you, you kind of know me. I said, but um, <laughs> I just want to offer my condolences for, uh, for, for uh, Mr. Van Cleef uh, and, and his family. You know, Did you know him? No, I, I didn't really know him, but I, I, I knew his wife, his ex wife. Right, thanks, bye. <laughs> for the band, I thought, well, I'll say. But that was, but again, that was uh, the thing. And from that, and, uh, I went off travelling a bit more, and that's when I got on with uh, the, the trial. Didn't they give you a, they gave you a name as well, is that correct? Um, I think it was, um, I read somewhere, it might, be, might not be right, um, Antex Tour or something. Um, uh, I think that's, that's, a, that's a made up, yeah, that's, that's a made up thing. They, 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 they just call me by my, by my name. I mean, they, 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 had, they, had, they had a, a spiritual name for me, yeah. but you're supposed to keep all of that. What gave you the idea for Antex um, Productions? What, what, what made you think of um, the particular name? Was it just a name of the... Funny enough, that came out with, from a, um, I was in a shower, and uh, it was in our old house, and I just bought Yvette a uh, red beetle, she loves beetles, yeah. so I, I bought this red beetle, and, um, which was, turned out to be an absolute death trap, but I didn't have the time, and um, honest. But, and so we were going to call the production of Red Beetle Productions, because we just thought that was quite funny, and use her car as the logo, sure. and, then, and then I just these people think we just do car stuff or you know something because the, the, you know, the television industry is quite a funny one and um, uh, and, and then I just said look we're going to get up to a lot of antics so let's call it antics and that's so um, but we just spelled it obviously just differently and, uh, and that was that. I understand you're a bit of an animal lover as well you've got um, four dogs and um, some ducks. Yeah and a really wild mother-in-law <laughs> shit if you're talking animals. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I, I do love animals. We've got five horses, um, four dogs. Th well, we did have 35 ducks and geese, but that seems to have grown now. I counted the other day, but we've almost got 50 now. So, other ducks and geese are coming in going, hey, free food, it's great fun here. But no, um, so, quite a collection of uh, horses. Yeah, I, I, I used to have three chickens. Um, unfortunately, we had a, uh, a bit of an issue with um, uh, the chickens being out at the same time as our station. And uh, I think he was hungry. <laughs> uh, and unfortunately, lost the chickens. Uh, I haven't recouped the chickens just yet because um, I was quite upset when they died because I did love the chickens. Sure. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm on the way to get some pigs too. Because uh, 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 I'm, I'm happiest when I'm covered in shit. In shit. Um, yeah. uh, feeding animals, really. Sounds good. Sounds yeah. good. <laughs>